Hi, this is Tim Sattler from Bank Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC here in Concord, New Hampshire. And I'm standing with Roger from General Motors, and he's the Sierra expert on trailering, and he's going to show us some of the great new features on the all-new 2020 GMC Sierra. So we're going to take a ride uh, to, so we can see how the GMC invisible trailer cameras work, uh, including the uh, three other views, and you guys will be able to see this work in action. So as we can see mounted right here on the bracket, this is the camera that makes all the magic happen. That gives us our four different views, including the uh, class exclusive invisible trailer view. Right here is where our uh, camera co coaxial connections would happen, uh, replaces our four pin. And here, as we can see labeled, is our interior camera. So we can see our interior of our trailer and the load that's in there and our exterior trailer on the back of the camera that makes all these views happen. So two of our cameras, that gives us some of our 15 views. So also our uh, backup camera and also our trailer hitch camera. If we go around to the side of the truck, as many of us are familiar with already, so our, our camera's on our side. That's gonna give us a view right down the side of the truck and trailer. And then our front camera which also gives us the view that we can bring up while we're driving as well to the front view, which obviously helps a bunch when we're towing a load. And our camera on our other side, which again will give us the view all the way down the side of the truck and trailer. And our two cab, cab view ones. So one of those obviously is for our rear camera mirror and the other one is for our bed camera. We know we can move our icons around our screen, and as I have it set up, where I have the three that I like to get to quickly, including our trailering app right here. So, brings us to the trailer that we have hooked up right now in our profile. So, this is actually the trailer number 1564, showing a little over 10,000 miles so far on this trailer. Uh, this mileage, which stays with the different trailer profiles, you can actually edit that mileage. So if somebody else uses that trailer and they don't have these capabilities, you can go ahead and adjust that mileage so you can keep better track of your trailer maintenance, your bearings and your brakes and such. And obviously we have our tire pressure monitors on here, which also we also get temperatures on here as well, which obviously is a big help with towing a trailer since we know when trailer tires want to let go that they usually escalate in temperature. So this helps us to hopefully avoid having that happen while we're driving down the road and take care of that at a better opportunity. Uh, we also have our trailer checklist. Uh, you know, more times you do something, you might be able, might miss one of these things. So this is nice to have a, a second thing to go by and make sure you didn't miss one of these. And obviously these features uh, can be found on your My GMC app on your phone as well too. Uh, as we said, we can have up to five different profiles on here. So here's this one that we're hooked up to now, our 1564. Another handy thing we have here is our connection, so letting us know everything's okay with our seven pin connector. And then we also have this light test. So one person now can go ahead and just push that start the light test and now you can walk around the vehicle and the trailer and it's gonna cycle through these lights as it's listed here. So you can make sure, make a visual check uh, on your own, make sure that these lights are working. As we get through down to our last one, our fifth one, the reverse lights, and it's gonna pop up on our screen right now. And now it's going to start back at the top of the order with the brake lights again. There we go. And now if we go back to our camera views where all that trailer magic happens. So there we are right there with that interior camera lighting up there. So whether uh, it's cargo or a car or livestock, probably especially handy with that. Now we can check in on our load as we drive down the road. Uh, this view right here, uh, we can bring this up as we drive down the road. It will time out after eight seconds. Another handy one we have that will also do the same time out eight seconds as we drive down the road is our bed view. So taking a look at our, our load back there, make sure that's still secured. And uh, obviously if we have a fifth wheel or gooseneck connection we're looking to hook up, that's going to make that a whole lot, uh, heck of a lot easier as well too. Another interesting view we can bring up as we drive down the road. Uh, so our uh, zoomed in hitch view. So now we can check, make sure our chains and our cables are still in good shape and are safe from dragging on the ground. Another interesting thing about this view, if you're using this to hook up as you're backing up in reverse and then you select park once you're lined up, this view it will automatically apply the parking brake. So now when you come off that brake pedal, you won't get that two or three inch roll there in park when you come off the brake pedal and you'll still be lined up. And then 
our other magic view so there we are right off the back of the trailer and this is right where the back of the trailer is so that's why we're able to back up even with one person here nobody spotting get nice and close uh, to our obstacle here um, that's and again that's right off the back of the trailer that camera that we showed back there um, our next view so this is obviously using our cameras that are on the sides on those mirrors that we pointed out so now we're seeing along both sides of uh, the trailer right there obviously this works well when we're in an environment like this with this tight parking lot or narrow roads that back camera again and then our picture in picture so we've got the side view and also that back camera view and our invisible trailer view we'll see once we actually get rolling here and see how these trailer views work in action so if we notice here as we turn the wheel it will bias the view on our display so we have a better view of the inside another feature that happens with that view bias when we use the turn signal now we've got a full screen of that same side that we're turning to So as we get rolling on the road, I'll go through these other views. So now that we're actually moving, now we can bring up our invisible trailer view. So this obviously works much like our surround vision. We're stitching the different views from our different cameras together. So using the backup camera from the truck and using that uh, camera that's on the back of the trailer. And we can go back to these views here. So again, this is one of my personal favorites. We're on these more narrow roads as we are in these kind of more urban environment. See both sides of the trailer, make sure you get plenty of clearance. Roger, if I had this screen up and I was also using the navigation system, how would I um, be able to see my directions? So, interesting point. Well, since we do have a uh, heads-up display here, obviously our turn-by-turn -turn directions would pop up on our heads-up display, but we can still use our screens here, whatever screen we're at, whether it's audio screen or say our navigation, uh, they still have this function feature where now if we use our turn signal we still get that side bias view so that's pretty handy right there and uh, if you're not liking that you can go ahead and defeat that go right back to your home bring back up your nav screen if you'd like so they did think so, about how to make that work they did all this is integrated uh, pretty well and that's uh, you know one of the advantages of having a system like this uh, that's set up for your manufacturer like this where all this stuff is just integrated so well and works right through the infotainment screen right here. So again, here we are at another turn. And blinker on, and there we go. Now we've got, again, that full side bias view, which will help me avoid this pothole right here on the inside. Notice that. And again, it does that with the turn signal from any one of these views. So here we are at a visible trailer. If I turn on my turn signal, we're getting that bias view again. So they uh, seems like they've thought of almost you know, all the different environments and different ways you want to use this. Now, Roger, you do a lot of towing for General Motors, and you have these systems. Which views do you normally keep on most of the time? So my personal favorite, so if I'm on these kind of side streets, uh, I'll be using the side by sea uh, view most often since now I can really see both sides of the trailer in these kind of more narrow environments. And when I'm out on the open highway, my favorite view is actually that one right there. Because now this is basically acting just like a rear view mirror right off the back of your trailer. And now as we come up another turn, again in that view, now we've got our side view. So when this reverts back to that rear trailer view, notice how wide that view is. That's one of the reasons why this is my favorite out in open highway. When you're on one of these highways, whether it's two, three, four, five lanes, we can see how wide this view is, how clear it is. We did get this little droplet of water on that camera there. We'll have to brush off later, maybe. But uh, still, very clear view. That's another thing coming from the factory, how nice and clear and full HD that is, just like the rest of our HD surround vision. I think you touched on this, but I'm going to ask again. Um, we have a lot of customers who pull snowmobile trailers and they go up to Canada on the weekend and unfortunately we do have some theft going on. Mm -hmm. um, it, these new trucks have the ability to let me know if my trailer's been disconnected? Yes, exactly. Through uh, the electric current through the 7-pin, if that becomes disconnected somehow, where obviously if someone wants to take your trailer they're going to have to unplug it or cut that, um, it will sound the alarm on the truck 
And then obviously if you're all set up with OnStar, you'll get that notice on your phone as well too. Which for someone like me who spends a lot of time with the truck and trailer outside the hotel room would uh, certainly be a advantage. A nice to know. feature, yeah. yeah. So they've really thought about all the types of problems and issues that trailer towers run into and tried to give them a solution for those various problems. They certainly have and, and me personally uh, that's one of the things I appreciate so much when we come up with new features like this and they actually solve practical problems for us that we find day to day. So going back to one of the things you showed us in the parking lot we just went around a pretty sharp corner and if I was pulling a horse trailer with a couple of horses even while I'm driving, I can check into the trailer. We sure can. So all three of these views. So these two buttons here will give us the four different views off our trailer cameras. These three we can bring up, but we'll time out. So there's our bed camera. We see the countdown there from the eight seconds. This one here, which again, checking our hitch, check our cables, our chains, make sure we're not dragging anything. And again, checking the interior making sure what we strap down is still strapped down and again especially the livestock if we've got livestock in there I mean, that's uh, invaluable there being able to check on that back to our camera display and again when we turn this wheel at slow speed our steering wheel we can see these bias turns here we even have our debt wizard guy helping us out and giving us a little bit of an obstacle course in our parking lot and again, it takes a lot of the stress out of towing, especially if you're one of these people who does a lot of towing by yourself and don't have the advantage of maybe having someone to be able to hop out and spot for you. But obviously, this saves a heck of a lot of time, even above that, having someone to jump out and spot for you. You've got your own spotter for you attached right to the back of the trailer. Well, Roger, I want to thank you for coming out. It's one thing as a sales department to talk with customers about these great new features. But not having a trailer that has those cameras on it that we can actually hook up to a truck, it's hard to demonstrate that. So showing it um, and understanding all those different features is amazingly helpful. Thank you so much for, for coming out today. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.